The treatment of adult AML in Australia has been shaped by serial randomised studies which have led to progressive improvements in leukaemia-free survival. The AML-M2 study initially introduced a topicide into 7 plus 3 induction and 5 plus 2 consolidation. The AML-M4 study introduced high-dose cytarabine into the induction protocol and the AML-M7 study exchanged dornirubicin for idorubicin to create the high-dose ARASI-based induction regimen, ICE. In the following AML-M12 study, the question was asked whether increasing the dose of idorubicin during the two consolidation phases of therapy would have a benefit for patients in terms of leukaemia-free survival. The consolidation regimen included idorubicin at a dose of 9 milligrams per meter squared given on days 1 and 2 in combination with infusion or cytarabine 100 milligrams per meter squared daily for five days and atopicide 75 milligrams per meter squared for five days. Experimental question was to determine whether an additional dose of idorubicin in each of the consolidation cycles, therefore three days of idorubicin versus two, would be beneficial. 422 patients were initially treated with the ICE induction regimen, resulting in a complete remission rate of 82% and 293 patients were taken to the randomised comparison of standard doses of idorubicin with the extra day of idorubicin in consolidation. The overall results demonstrated an improved uh, leukaemia-free survival at three years, which was statistically significant for the addition of idorubicin to each of the two consolidation cycles. And this also held true in terms of uh, censoring for stem cell transplant. Overall survival was uh, substantially improved, but the study was not powered to determine this uh, to be statistically significant. Therefore, our conclusion is that further improvements in leukaemia-free survival can be achieved through the introduction of anthracycline intensification in the consolidation phase, and this has now formed a new standard of care in Australia.